Hi, and welcome back to another video. This time I'm actually going to do a review of what I consider is the absolute best airsoft straight out from the box that I ever own, and well, let's get right into it. I have owned a fair amount of airsofts, but this is by far the best airsoft I've ever had that worked as good out from the box. And which one is it? I'm sure you can already guess, but it's no other than the Noveski N4 by Sima Platinum. And here is why I think this is the absolute best airsoft straight out of the box. Included in the package is a mid cap magazine, a small card of uh, authentication to prove this is a genuine Noveski licensed product, a spring that I have no idea what strength it is because it wasn't listed as included, and that's about it. It just looks amazing straight out of the box. I haven't done anything interior to this. The only thing I've done is to add two Picatinny rails for my foregrip and for my camera, as well as a sling mount I will talk more about later in the video. Compared to the previous release, this one only comes with one quick mount sling attachment at the end of the receiver under the buttstock, which is why I decided to add a secondary sling mount on the front so I can run a two point sling. As you can see, I've also added a Picatinny rail at the bottom and on the right side to mount my camera. And this just works generally well for me. Nothing you have to do if you would just want to play, don't care about recording or add a front grip. What I like a lot also with this airsoft is that all you have to do to access the quick spring system is to unscrew the buttstock, twist it 45 degrees and unscrew the spring guide and then you have access to the spring system and it makes it super easy to change the spring depending on the rules of your field. As seems to be standard nowadays, this one also has a working bolt catch which makes it super easy to adjust your hop up. The hop up in the Noveski is actually very stiff and have a very distinct sound to it when you turn it, making it easy to adjust it and make sure that it's always staying in position. And of course it has a working bolt catch on the other side together with the fire selector. On the charging handle you also have the Noveski logo and of course the brand. <laughs> Why not? The fire selector is not ambidextrous and it has the usual safe, semi and fun mode options with a distinctive click when you select the different modes. And here's what I don't like with the airsoft. The battery compartment. To get to the battery you have to take away the butt plate of the buttstock and then try to fibble out that extra... I don't even know what to call it. And as you can see it's quite hard to do it with gloves on so I had to take off my gloves to take it away. And I, I just don't like that extra piece. And also because when you want to access and put in a battery and when you want to put in a battery you have to make sure that it doesn't go above the cutouts that you can see inside. Because if you do, well, you will not be able to close it. Compared to the previous model, they had a button that you pressed on the end of the butt pad and it would fold open or fold out and you can just get your battery in there without any problem. I still have to say that if you use a stick battery it's working way better than if you had nunchucks and that's about the only downside with this airsoft and that is the battery compartment area which could have been done so much better and it's a bit of a downgrade and disappointment but I still think that this out of the box has the best features amazing looks and and it's very good internals which makes this one very accurate on long distances this shot as you can see here I took on my last game and it's about 55-65 meters, and that's with all stock internals, nothing added to it. It's also very consistent, as you can see I'm having an average of 85.7 MES, which is that many FPS, and keeping it around 1.16-1.2 joules with 0.32 gram BBs. So why am I saying that this Noveski from Sima Platinum is the best airsoft straight out of the box? Well. I find it that way. It's very reliable, I can hit my targets far away, further than I've had any stock gun do before. The motor is very quiet when I shoot, compared to my Specna arms. There's no grind to it, no whining sound, it just sounds great. 
without any adjustments. The accuracy is great. I like the feature that if I keep the battery in for too long without using it, shuts down, not draining the battery, which is also sort of a downside given I have to then disconnect and reconnect the battery. And as we saw, that's a process. But even with that downside, I still find this to be the most fun gun I've used, the most reliable I've used, and I don't really see a need to upgrade anything if I were a new player and bought this as my first airsoft. It's also not the most expensive one, and it's, it gives you everything you need, except a battery and charger, but that's more for a low tier gun. I would rank this as mid tier to higher, because of all the customization you can do to it both internally and externally. So feel free to write in the comments what your favorite gun straight out of the box is and what you consider is the best. This is just my personal take and I accept anyone who feels any different. If you like this video, please feel free to share, like, comment and subscribe. And if you really want to help me out, feel free to take a look at my wishlist down in the comment section. Until next time, this is Airsoft Wolf, signing out.